Hare Jaya Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Vardhari Jaya Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Vardhari Sotanandan Prajajanarangana Sotanandan Prajajanarangana Anjavna Tira Vanachari Tira Vanachari Jaya Rata Madhava Kunja Vyari Jaya Rata Madhava Kunja Vyari Jaya Radha Madhav, Jaya Radha Madhav, Radha Madhav, Jaya Radha Madhav. Jaya Gauranitai, Jaya Gauranitai, Gauranitai, Jaya Gauranitai. Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pada Prabhu Pada Prabhu Pada Prabhu Pada Anitai Gaur Haribo महामहोत्सव सुवन महाप्रभु आविर्भाव तिथि महामहोत्सव की समवित गौरभक्त बिंद की मिताई गौर प्रेमानंदे ऑल ग्लोरीज टू द असेंबली बॉडीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू द असेंबली बॉडीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू द असेंबली बॉडीज ऑल ग्लोरीज ऑल ग्लोरीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू गुरु एंड गौरांग ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री प्रभु पाद ओम ज्ञान अति मिरांदस्य ज्ञान अंजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन मिलितं येन तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्टम स्थापितं जन भूतले शयं रूप कदामयं ददातीशा पदांतिकम बंदे हं श्री गुरा श्री जता पदकामलं श्री गुरुं वैष्णवांशा श्री रूपं शाग्रजातं सहगना रघुनाथा नितं तं सजीवम साध्यितं साबधुतं परिजना सहितं कृष्णा सहितं नदेवं श्रीराधा कृष्णपादन सहगना ललिता श्री विशाखा नितंश नमों विष्णुपादाय कृष्णप्रस्था योगुतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदांत स्वामिनितिनामिने नमस्ते सारस्ते देवे गौरवानी प्रचारिने निर्विशेष सुन्नवादी पश्चत दिशतारिने बंचा कल्पतरुभस्य प्रिपासिंदु पहिवच 
पतितानंग पावने भो वैष्णवे भो नमो नमः नमो महाबद्धन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामने गोरतिशे नमः हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंध दीनवंद जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कंत राधा कंत नमस्ते तप्त कांचना गोरांगी राधे ब्रह्मा बनेश्वरी विश्वानु सुते देवी प्रणामि हरि प्रिय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वै तकदाधार शिवासादि गोरवक्त ब्रह्मा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Because today is an auspicious appearance day of Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu, so we will be reading from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Leela, Chapter 3. Chapter is entitled The External Reasons for Lord Chaitanya's Appearance. And we will be reciting the verse from Srimad Bhagavatam, which is quoted in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. And the verse number is 52. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Daita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda जय दैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय नित्यानंद जय दैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद इज अ वेरी फेमस वर्स Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishnam Sangha Pangastra Parsadam Jagyai Sankirtana Praye Rajanti Hishu Medasa Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishnam Sangha Pangastra Parsadam जग्गई संकीर्तन प्राय अजंती ही सुमेधसा कृष्ण वर्णन तिसा कृष्णं सांगो पांगास्त्र पार्षदम जग्गई संकीर्तन प्राय Jajanti hi sumedha saha Vaishnavis, ladies.
Krishna Varnam, repeating the syllables Krishna, Tisha with the last a Krishnam, not black, golden, Sa Anga, along with associates, Upanga, servitors, Astra, weapons, Parsadam, confidential companions, Yagya, by sacrifice, Sankirtana Prae, consisting chiefly of congregational chanting. Rajanti, they worship. He, certainly. Sumedha Saha, intelligent persons. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Sala Prabhupada. Translation. In the age of Kali, intelligent persons perform congregational chanting to worship the incarnation of Godhead, who constantly sings the name of Krishna. Although his complexion is not blackish, he is Krishna himself, he is accompanied by his associates, servants, weapons and confidential companions. Purport. This text is from Srimad Bhagavatam 11.5.32. Srila Jiva Goswami has explained this verse in his commentary on the Bhagavatam, known as the Krama Sandarbha, wherein he says that the Lord Krishna also appears with a golden complexion. That golden Lord Krishna is Lord Chaitanya, who is worshipped by intelligent men in this age. That is confirmed in Srimad Bhagavatam by Garga Muni, who said that although the child Krishna was blackish, he also appears in three other colors, red, white and yellow. He exhibited his white and red complexions in the Satya and Treta ages respectively. He did not exhibit the remaining color, yellow gold, until he appeared as Lord Chaitanya, who is known as Gaurahari. Srila Jiva Goswami explains that Krishna Varnam means Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Krishna Varna and Krishna Chaitanya are equivalent. The name Krishna appears with, the, both Lord Krishna, with both Lord Krishna and Lord Chaitanya Krishna. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but he always engages in describing Krishna and thus enjoys transcendental bliss by chanting and remembering his name and form. Lord Krishna himself appears as Lord Chaitanya to preach the highest gospel. Lord Chaitanya always chants the holy name of Krishna and describes it also and because he is Krishna himself, whoever meets him will automatically chant the holy name of Krishna and later describe it to others. He injects one with transcendental Krishna consciousness which merges the chanter in transcendental bliss. In all respects, therefore, he appears before everyone as Krishna either by personality or by sound. Simply by seeing Lord Chaitanya, one at once remembers Lord Krishna. One may therefore accept him as Vishnu Tattva. In other words, Lord Chaitanya is Lord Krishna himself. Sango Pangastha Parshadam further indicates that Lord Chaitanya is Lord Krishna. His body is always decorated with ornaments of sandalwood and with sandalwood paste. By his super excellent beauty, he subdues all the people of the age. In other, in other descents, the Lord sometimes used weapons to defeat the demoniac. But in this age, the Lord subdues them with his all-attractive figure as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila Jiva Goswami explains that his beauty is his astra or weapon to subdue the demons. Because he is all-attractive, it is to be understood that all the demigods lived with him as his companions. His acts were uncommon and his associates wonderful. When he propagated the Sankirtan movement, he attracted many great scholars and acharyas, especially in Bengal and Orisha. Lord Chaitanya is always accompanied by his best associates like Lord Nityananda, Adaita, Gadadhar and Srivas. 
Sri Jiva Goswami cites a verse from the Vedic literature which says that there is no necessity of performing sacrificial demonstration or ceremonial functions. He comments that instead of engaging in such external pompous exhibitions, all people, regardless of caste, creed, color, or creed, caste, color, or creed can assemble together and chant Hare Krishna to worship Lord Chaitanya. Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna indicates that prominence should be given to the name of Krishna. Lord Chaitanya taught Krishna consciousness and chanted the name of Krishna. Therefore, to worship Lord Chaitanya, everyone should together chant the Mahamantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. To propagate worship in churches, temples or mosques is not possible because people have lost interest in that. But anywhere and everywhere, people can chant Hare Krishna. Thus, worshipping Lord Chaitanya, they can perform the highest activity and fulfill the highest religious purpose of satisfying the Supreme Lord. Srila Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, a famous disciple of Lord Chaitanya, said, The principle of transcendental devotional service having been lost, Sri Krishna Chaitanya has appeared in order to deliver again the process of devotion. He is so kind that he is distributing love of Krishna. Everyone should be attracted more and more to his lotus feet as humming bees are attracted to a lotus flower. Mukam Karati Vachalam Pankhulang Haiti Giring Jatkripat Maham Bande Sri Guru Dinatari Nam Paramananda Madhavam Sri Chaitanya Isharam. Hare Krishna. So today is the divine appearance day of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So I'll be speaking on this verse and after my talk, His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj will come. He will talk about different pastimes related to Lord Chaitanya's appearance. So I will talk about philosophy and he will talk about pastimes. So this verse is very, very famous verse. And Jiva Goswami has commented on this verse very wonderfully. And Srila Prabhupada, in his purport, also quotes Jiva Goswami's commentary. So I'll try to analyze uh, different words of this verse based on the commentary of Srila Jiva Goswami and also Baladev Vidya Vishan. So Krishna Varnam, this verse begins with Krishna Varnam. So, Varna means syllables. Krishna. So, why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna Varnam? Because name of Chaitanya is Sri Krishna Chaitanya. So, name Krishna is there in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's name also. That's why Krishna Varna means Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna Varnam. Another way of describing Krishna Varnam is Krishna and Chaitanya both are in the same Varna. In this world there are four Varnas, right? Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Sudra according to the scriptures. But what is the Varna of Krishna? What is the Varna of Krishna? He is beyond any Varna. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That is Krishna's Varna. Ete Changsha Kalapungsha Krishna's to Bhagavan Sayam. So Krishna is in the Varna of Supreme Personality of Godhead. That is his Varna. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also in the same Varna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Both are same. Brajanda Nandana Jai Sachishuta Hoilo Sai Balaram Hoilo Nitai. So, same Brajanda Nandana Krishna who performed his, pa his pastime in Dapar Juga came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And same Balaram came as Nityananda Prabhu. That's why Krishna Varnam means 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Both are supreme personality of Godhead. Both Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are the supreme personality of Godhead. Another meaning of Krishna Varnam is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always chants the holy name of Krishna. Kirtaniya Sadahari. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Wherever he goes, he chants the holy name of the Lord. But before he started the Sankirtan movement, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was enjoying his educational pastime. And he was a learned scholar and he was a wonderful teacher. He used to teach a lot of people in this Navadip Dham. And he was famous as Nimai Pandit. Pandit means scholarly person. So Mahaprabhu was Nimai Pandit. And he was very expert in logic. Any argument, he will take one side and defeat the opposite side. And again he will take the opposite side and defeat the same philosophy. That was the expertise of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And uh, people of Navadip used to feel that Nimai Pandit is the topmost scholar in our locality. But the devotees, they are thinking that Nimai is wasting his time. Because devotees are not interested so much in dry logic and speculations and all kinds of stuff. They are interested in devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That's why when Nimai Pandit used to come in one way, devotees used to take another way to avoid him. Because Nimai Pandit was very expert to harass the devotees by this logic and argument. And Nimai Pandit understood that devotees are avoiding him. So he told one day, oh, you are avoiding me because I am not a devotee. I will show you what kind of devotee I can become. So he declared that. So after his uh, father's death, so Nimai Pandit went to Gaya to perform the Shraddha ceremony of his father. And there he got the mantra from his spiritual master. And he was in madness of love of God. He was chanting the holy name and he was running towards Bindavan. And there was a voice from the sky because the demigods are, are always worried. Because demigods, they have their own purpose. Why Krishna should appear, right? Paritrana sadunang, binasaicha duskritam, dharma sangastha panarthai sambhavami juge juge. So Demigod started thinking, if Mahaprabhu goes to Vrindavan, then how Sankirtan movement will be established? That's why he told, this is not the time to go to Vrindavan. You can go to Vrindavan later on. Now you should go to Navadip and establish the Sankirtan movement. But Mahaprabhu was in ecstasy and uh, he was experiencing love of Godhead and he was feeling separation from Krishna. And he was, he was mad. So when he came back, so, people of Navadip started thinking, what happened to Nimai? He was normal. Now, how come he became abnormal? And they started talking to Mother Sachi also, that your son has become mad. So, Mother Sachi started believing also, many people are talking the same thing. So, he told Gadadar, please check the situation of my son, Nimai. So Gadadar checked, he said, yes, yes, he has developed the disease, but it's a wonderful disease. And I pray to the Lord that disease come to me also. Because the disease of love of God. Had. So Mahaprabhu was in that ecstasy. And when Prakashananda Saraswati and the Mayavadi Sanyasis in Varanasi, they are criticizing Mahaprabhu. That you are a sanyasi. And as a sanyasi, you should study. Vedanta and do meditation. But instead of doing that, as a sentimental person, you are singing and dancing. And not only singing and dancing, you are singing and dancing on the streets. And you are not singing alone. 
They are singing and dancing with thousands and thousands of devotees. While Mahaprabhu was in Varanasi, thousands, thousands, Gosudas Kovijaj Goswami said, not only thousands, lakhs of people, millions of people were attracted by the Harinam Sankirtan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he explained that Mother Ganges could not flood Varanasi, but Mahaprabhu Sankirtan Mumbai and flooded the Varanasi city. That was the power of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Sankirtan movement. But Mayabadi Sannyasis are criticizing that why he is a Sannyasi, why he is not studying Vedanta. So there is a meeting arranged between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Prakashananda Saraswati and all the Sannyasis. And they ask the same question. Prakashananda Saraswati asks the same question that why you are doing all this kind of stuff? And looks like from your uh, appearance, it looks like you are the Sakshat Bhagavan, you are the su Supreme Personality of God and Narayan. And being an Narayan, why you are doing these low class things? Then Mahaprabhu said, what can I do? My spiritual master told me that I am a fool. And I don't have any right to study Vedanta. And he gave me a mantra. I don't know what kind of mantra he gave. He explained that Kiba mantra dila goshai kiba tar ball. Jopite jopite mantra korila pagal. He said, I don't know what kind of mantra my spiritual master gave me. Whenever I chant this mantra, I become mad in ecstasy. And you know, madman can do anything. So after I become mad, what I am doing, I don't know. Whether I am dancing, singing, crying, laughing, I don't know. It is beyond my control. And that is the power of the holy name. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always chants the holy name of the Lord. While he was in Navadip, daytime, he used to chant on the street. And evening time, night time, he used to chant the holy name with the confidential associates in the closed door of Srivas Thakur's house. One day, Mahaprabhu said, Do you believe that I can make people mad in ecstasy by chanting the holy name of the Lord? Do you believe that? Then he called Narayani, the niece of Srivas Thakur. He, uh, she was four years old. And Mahaprabhu said, Narayani, chant Hare Krishna. As soon as Mahaprabhu said that, she started chanting and she was mad in ecstasy. Tears were flowing. All the symptoms of love of God had started manifesting in the body of Narayani. In that way, Mahaprabhu established the potency of the holy name of the Lord. That's why it is explained, Bhajaner Madhya Shrestha Navavida Bhakti Krishna Prem Krishna Dite Dhare Mahasakti Tar Madhya Sarva Shrestha Nam Sankirtan Nira Parade Nam Loile Pai Premadhan. There are many processes of devotional service. Sanatan Goswami explained many items <coughs> of Sadhana Bhakti in Hari Bhakti Vilas. Then Rupa Goswami reduced the number because in Kali Yuga very difficult to practice all different kinds of angas of bhakti. How to talk about performing? It is very difficult to remember also. Rupa Goswami understood that, so he reduced the number. And he mentioned 64 items of devotional service. And after that, he also realized 64 is also difficult. Just like Prabhupada felt, 16 rounds is more suitable. 64, very difficult, right? So 64 become 32, 32 become 16. But that is minimum 16. But we think that is maximum 16. Very difficult to chant. Some devotees said that Prabhupada gave all the process wonderfully. Festivals, then uh, Prashadam, Dham Jatra, Bhakta Sangha. But why 16 rounds? Very difficult. So chanting 16 rounds is also difficult. But we have the desire or dream to chant the holy name all the time. Kirtanya Sadahari. That is very good to say, but very difficult to 
practice. So coming to the point that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is establishing the process of Harinam Sankirtan. And he was met in ecstasy by chanting the holy name of the Lord. Right? So why is it not happening to us? So devotees ask this question. So Mahaprabhu immediately he started exhibiting love of God by chanting the holy name of the Lord. But we are chanting for many years still it's not happening. So I try to explain this with a story and people ask how long it will take? That Sikhastakam prayers also says Nayanangala dashtu dharaya badanangala dharudhraya gira Pulakya nichitang bapu kodatava nam guru hane bhavishtati When that do will come the tears of love, love of God it will flow so people have desire, devotees have the desire, but uh, it's not happening and people are wondering that how long it will take. So in order to understand that, how long it will take, so I narrate a simple story to understand how long it will take. So there is a villager, he did not go out of the village in his life, but one day he had to go out of the village because he had some work and how to go to that to the place he had to catch a train he did not know also where is the train station because he never went out he heard that outside of the village there is a train station then he came out from his house he was on the way to his uh, destination and he was on the way to catch the train so while he was walking, on the way he saw a farmer, he was doing farming and he started thinking maybe he can tell me how long it will take. So he started asking the question that can you tell me how long it will take to reach the train station? He was not replying. He thought he is not loud enough so he asked the same question loudly. How long it will take to reach the station? No answer. He became more louder. Still no answer. Then he started thinking, if I spend time with him, then I may miss the train. Out of fear to miss the train, he started running. So when he started running, the farmer replied that it will take 15 minutes to reach the station. Then that man was uh, surprised, shocked. He said that I was shouting, screaming and asking the question. You did not answer. But when I started running, you started answering the question. Why? He said, it's very simple. He said, when you asked me the question, I did not know your speed. Now I can know your speed. If you run in this speed, then it will take 15 minutes. So how long it will take for us to reach our destination depending on our speed. So how to increase the speed? Those who drive the car they know how to increase the speed, right? How to increase the speed? You have to push the accelerator. But if you push the accelerator, if the car is in neutral gear, what will happen to the car? It will move or what will happen? The smoke and sound will come out. Right? So you may say, oh, I am pushing so much, I am working so hard, but car is not moving. Why car is not moving? Because car is in neutral gear. Sometimes it happens to our spiritual life also. We are in the devotional car, but we have to check whether the car is in the gear or not. If the car is in neutral gear, we can push so much. Getting up very early in the morning, doing this, that, so much enthusiasm, but still car is not moving. Why? Because the car is in neutral gear. What is the meaning of car in the neutral gear? means we are materially attached. If attachment is there and you are pushing so much, only sound and smoke will come out. The car will not move. That's why 
material attachment and Krishna consciousness cannot go together. So why we are not able to experience the love of Krishna? Because we are having the attachments. So being detached is very, very important principle. Detachment is very, very favorable to experience the nectar of Krishna consciousness. So while Mahaprabhu was experiencing love of Godhead, because he was chanting the holy name of the Lord without any offense. That's what the process I was talking about. That Bhajaner Madhya Sister Navavida Bhakti in that discussion, I was talking that Rupa Goswami was talking about 64 items. But he thought that 64 is also difficult. Then he has given five potent limbs. It is known as Panchanga Bhakti. Five most important limbs of devotional service. Sadhu Sangha, Nam Kirtan, Bhagavat Sravan, Mathura Vasri Murti, Sadhai Sravan. These are the five important limbs. Sadhu Sangha, association of devotees. Nam Kirtan, chanting of the holy name. Bhagavat Sravan, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. Mathura Vas means residing in a holy place and worshipping the deities with respect. So, these are the five most potent forms of devotional service. But here it is explained, Navada Bhakti. Nine process of devotional service, which is explained by Prahlad Maharaj and Srimad Bhagavad. It is very, very powerful. Why it is very, very powerful? Because it has the potency to give Krishna and love for Krishna. Tarmadde Sarva Sreshta Nam Sankirtan. Out of this nine, the topmost process is Nam Sankirtan. Nira Parade Nam Loile Pai Premandhan. If we chant the holy name, but with one condition only. We have to chant the holy name without any offense. If we chant the holy name but commit offenses, then love of Godhead will not be experienced. That is called Lama Parad. So when we develop that tendency, we have the tendency to commit Vaishnava Parad, then what will happen? Our material attachment will increase. Offensive chanting gives material prosperity. Namabhas gives liberation. Suddhanam gives love of Godhead. So when Mahaprabhu was chanting, he was not chanting with offenses, he was not chanting in Namabhas, he was chanting the holy name in the pure form. He was chanting Suddhanam. That's why immediately he started experiencing love of Godhead. Not only he, he made others also to experience love of Godhead. So while he was in Jagannath Puri, he was going to South India for a preaching tour. So on the way, while he was walking on the road, people from village got attracted by seeing the beautiful form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So when he, they got attracted, Mahaprabhu encouraged them to chant the holy name. He said, chant Hari Bol. Chant Hari Bol. Hari Bol. So they chanted. So Mahaprabhu became very obliged. Oh, they are chanting the holy name. So out of uh, gratitude, Mahaprabhu embraced them. So when Mahaprabhu embraced them, immediately love of God had manifested in them. No sadhana bhakti, no initiation, right? No mangalati, no japa. Only one embrace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, love of God. Is not that wonderful? How many of you want that embrace? Very easy, right? One embrace, but that's not happening. Mahaprabhu is ready to give embrace, but we are not ready. Mahaprabhu is ready. Now today, he is anxious to give that embrace, because today is his appearance day. On the appearance day of the Lord, Lord is most merciful. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is merciful, extremely merciful, but his mercy comes to a climax on his appearance day. So, if you want that embrace, today is the day. Okay, are you ready for that? So, that is the purpose of Gaur Purnima, to get the embrace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu should appear. So, when Naratam Das Thakur was doing first Gaur Purnima in the Keturi Dham, so they are performing Harinam Sankirtan, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared there. Not only he, along with all the associates, he appeared in Keturi Dham. 
same thing can happen when there is prem sankirtan definitely mahaprabhu will appear addopi sei lila kore gauroray kono kono bhagwan dekhi bare pai it's not that gorang on gorpurnima day mahaprabhu appears mahaprabhu appears every moment he can appear every moment because gorpurnima is happening all the time in different universes so his appearance is also eternal so we have to be ready for that so when we chant the holy name we commit offenses but when we chant the name of gauranga offenses run out of fear run away so therefore you have to chant the holy name of gauranga that's why pahupada has introduced the system of chanting panchatatra mantra before chanting the holy name shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri adwaita gadadhar shiva sadi gaura bhakta vrinda so when mahaprabhu embraced them love of god had manifested in them so they went back to their village and village started thinking oh when they when they are normal when they came back they are abnormal what happened to them and people like to see the fun so they came to see the fun and when they came to see the fun they are also telling like mahaprabhu because they have got that love of godhead so Mah just like mahaprabhu encourages them they also encourage the villagers they said chant hari bol hari bol hari bol whole village become krishna conscious what a preaching program whole village krishna conscious village it became so next village started thinking what happened to this village all the people became mad let's go and see the fun so some villagers came from the next village to see the fun and Christ the love of god is a contagious disease when they came to see the fun they are also encouraged to chant the holy name they got love of god it they went back to their village the whole villages whole uh, whole village become krishna conscious in that way krishna das kaviraj goswami is telling village after village town after town city after city whole south india became krishna conscious simply by one embrace of chaitanya mahaprabhu so this is the potency so mahaprabhu kept love of god it there is embrace in that way you can get love of god it pratap rudra maharaj also got embrace many devotees got embrace of chaitanya mahaprabhu and immediately love of god it manifested so mahaprabhu kept love of god it for narottam das thakur why did he kept the love of god it in the river padma in the water of padma river so mahaprabhu told that i have kept this when narottam will come give that love of god it to him very interesting so mahaprabhu should have kept for us also somewhere for for narottam he kept in the water of padma de padma river so padma devi said no problem i'll follow your order and give this uh, krishna prema to narottam but how do i know who is narottam i i have never seen him because narottam did not appear before his appearance mahaprabhu kept love of god it for him then mahaprabhu said no problem very simple <coughs> so the emotions we are getting now mahaprabhu was talking to padma devi by touching my body when same kind of emotion you will experience by touching another body that is narottam is it very simple understood so in that way narottam got love of god it so one devotee was analyzing wonderfully that how prabhupad said that my bhakti vedanta purports are my devotional ecstasy just like mahaprabhu kept love of god it in the water of padma devi so sila prabhupad also has kept his love of, the love of god it in his bhakti vedanta purports so it's available still available so mahaprabhu's love is now coming down through his senapati bhakta so that same love of god had what mahaprabhu kept in the water of padma devi padma river so same love of god had sila prabhupad has kept in the bhakti vedanta purports therefore we have to enter into bhakti vedanta purports to experience that love of god had so same principle applies so that is krishna varnam so mahaprabhu used to chant the holy name all the time and he used to encourage others also to chant the holy name of the lord that's why he is krishna varnam 
another meaning of Krishna Varnam is whoever saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they remembered Krishna. That is the potency of pure devotees. That is the potency of purity. One associate of Lord Chaitanya asked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that we are grihasthas, how to get perfection in household life? Then Mahaprabhu said, very simple. You have to do two kinds of services. One is chant the holy name and serve the Vaishnavas. If you do these two services, you will get perfection in your life. Nothing much, nothing more to do. She said, okay, chanting of the holy name, very simple to understand. But in order to serve the Vaishnavas, we have to know who is a Vaishnava. Mahaprabhu said, that is also very simple. But Mahaprabhu said, everything is very simple. So Mahaprabhu said, whoever chants the holy name of the Lord once, he is a Vaishnava. Haribol. We are all Vaishnavas. Very encouraging statement. But they are little doubtful also. This is so simple. Because people, when very simple things is spoken, they say, it's too simple to accept. Then they ask the same question. Mahaprabhu, who is a Vaishnava? Then Mahaprabhu replied, who chants the holy name of the Lord constantly, 24 hours a day? He is a Vaishnava. Then holy evil reduced. More difficult to become a Vaishnava. Still they are not fully satisfied. Same question was asked again. Mahaprabhu, who is a Vaishnava? Then Mahaprabhu replied, by seeing someone, if one is inspired to chant the holy name of the Lord, he is the Vaishnava. So which answer is correct? All three answers are correct because Mahaprabhu cannot answer incorrectly, right? He is the absolute truth. So who chants the holy name of the Lord once, he is a Kanishtadikari Vaishnava. Whoever chants the holy name of the Lord all the time is a Madhavadikari Vaishnava and who can inspire others to chant the holy name of the Lord, he is Uttamadikari Vaishnava. So Mahaprabhu was in that platform, he is the supreme personality of Godhead, but he was playing the role of a devotee. That's why he was playing the role of a Uttama Bhakta. So whoever saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they started remembering Krishna. They started chanting the holy name of the Lord. That was the potency of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That's why Krishna Varnam means Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So now, Tisha or Krishna. He is chanting the holy name of the Lord. He is chanting Krishna's name. But his bodily color is Akrishna. Akrishna means which is not black. Then, okay, which is not black means it can be so many other colors, red, white, green, blue. Then why golden? Non blackish doesn't mean yellow. So why it is written is, it is yellow color? Non-black is means yellow. So it is explained by Garga Muni. So while he, is talk, while he was talking to Nanda Maharaj in name giving ceremony of Krishna, he said that this same boy appeared in Satya Yuga. In which color? White color. In Treta Yuga? In which color? Red color. Then he also appeared in yellow color. So you may say that Mahaprabhu appeared after Krishna's appearance. And why he is using past tense? So our acharyas are explaining. He is mentioning about Mahaprabhu's appearance in previous kalpa of Brahma. So Bra Mahaprabhu appears in one kalpa. He does not appear in every Kali Yuga. He appears in the 28th millennium of the seventh Manu. Just like Krishna appears in the 28th millennium of the seventh Manu in each day of Brahma. In the same way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also appears once in a day of Brahma. So while Gargamuni was talking about 
Mahaprabhu's appearance, he was talking about his appearance in previous kalpa. That's why past tense was used. So Krishna, appear, Mahaprabhu appears in every kalpa of Brahma. So that's why all the colors, red, white and black. And he said that now he has appeared in blackish color. So by this you can understand the color of the Lord in Satya Yuga was white. The color of the Lord in Treta Yuga was red. And the color of the Lord in Dapur Yuga was black. So what remains? Yellow. That's why non-black means yellow color. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's bodily color is golden. So he is not an avatar, he is a supreme personality of Godhead. While Gopinath Acharya and Sarvabhama Bhattacharya are talking about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, so Gopinath Acharya told Sarvabhama Bhattacharya that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the supreme personality of Godhead. And Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, where, where from you are getting this information? Shastra says Krishna only appears in three yugas. He appears in Satya Yuga, Tritha Yuga and Dapur Yuga. He does not appear in Kali Yuga. How come we can say that he is the Supreme Personality of God? Because Lord does not appear in Kali Yuga. Nice argument. Sastra says that. So then Gopinath Acharya explained very wonderfully. He said that whatever you said is correct, but you don't have the complete understanding of the verse. So Krishna, the Lord does not come in Kali Yuga as Lila Avatar. Means he does not manifest his godly pastimes in Kali Yuga. That's why he is known as Channa Avatar, covered incarnation. He is Krishna, but he is covered by the color of Srimati Radharani. He is golden. That's why he is known as Channa. Although he is Bhagavan, he is the Supreme Lord, but he is performing his pastime as a devotee of Krishna. That's why he is known as Channa Avatar. So in that way, Gopinath Acharya tried to explain that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but in the mood and complexion of his dear devotee, Srimati Radharani. So that's why he accepted the, accepted the color of molten gold, which is the color of the body of Srimati Radharani. So Krishna Varnam Tisha Akrishnam Sangha Pangastra Parshadam. This is also very, very important. Sangha means sa anga, his own body. Upanga means his limbs. Anga means his limbs, upanga means his ornaments. And astra means open. These three things. Anga, upanga and astra. So, and parshadam, parshadam means associates. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associates have these three qualifications. Anga, Upanga and Astra. Anga, why it is, is the Anga means his body, bodily limbs. Why it, his associates are his bodily limbs? Because his associates are also attractive like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Like his own body. That's why it is known as Anga. Upanga means that it has lot of potency. Upanga. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associates are equally powerful like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Astra means weapon. Weapon means weapons are always with the warrior. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associates are there with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu all the time. That's why it is written Sangha Pangastra Parsadam. Another meaning is given. There are different kinds of associates. Not all are same. One is Anga, another category is Upanga, another category is Parsha, and another category is Astra. Four categories. So Anga means which is non different from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's body. There is one kind of associates. Who are those? Nityananda Prabhu and Adaita Acharya. They are Angas. And who is, what is Upanga? His ornaments. 
His ornaments are Upanga. Upanga is Shiva's Thakur. And uh, which is associates Parshat, Gadadhar Pandit, Govinda. There is associates Parshat. And what is the Astra, weapon of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Holy name of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So in that way, Jiva Goswami and Balada Vidya Vishana have explained, Sangha Pangastra Parsadam. Then, Jagai Sankirtane Prai, Jajanti Hi Su Medasa. The, the most intelligent people in this age of Kali will worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through Harinam Sankirtan. That is the process of this age of Kali. But Mahaprabhu's Sankirtan is not usual Sankirtan. Nam Sankirtan is the Juga Dharma of every Kali Juga. But Mahaprabhu brought holy name from Goloka Vrindavan. Golokera Premadhan Hari Nam Sankirtan. While Mahaprabhu was performing Hari Nam Sankirtan, his associates told, This is Prem Sankirtan. By chanting the holy name of the Lord given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we can attain Braja Prema Bhakti, love of Godhead in Vrindavan. By performing Harinam Sankirtan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the door of Goloka Vrindavan will open up. But in other Kali Yuga, the Yuga Avatar can open the door of Vaikuntha planet, but not the door of Goloka Vrindavan. So that is the difference between Yuga Avatar and the Supreme Personality of Godhead Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That's why it is said, Anarpita Charing Chirat, Kurunaya Avatirna Kalau, Samarpaita Munnata Ujjalara Sang Sabakti Sriyam, Hari Purata Sundara Duti Kadamba Sandipita, Sada Hidaya Kandara Spurata Vasachinana. This verse explains the external reasons of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance. Why Mahaprabhu came to this world? To give something which has, has not been given for a long, long time, because it is given only once in a day of Brahma. What is that? Braja Prema Bhakti. The love of Godhead experienced by the Brajabhas is especially the gopis of Vrindavan. So Mahaprabhu came to distribute that to anyone and everyone without any discrimination, whether they are qualified or not qualified. That is the merciful nature of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and that is the external reason of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance. And what is the internal reason? There are three internal reasons of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance in this world. That is also explained in Chaitanya Charitamrita by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Si Radhaya Pranay Mahima Kiddrisa Banaiva, Saddha Janadbhuta Madhurima Kiddrisa Bamodiyo, Sokhanchasa Madhuna Bhavata Kiddrisa Angvetti Lobhat, Tad Bhavadda Samajani Sachi Garva Sindhu Harindu. This verse explains why Mahaprabhu comes, why Lord comes as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Three reasons. First reason is to understand the glory of Srimati Radharani's love for Krishna. To experience the happiness which was experienced by Srimati Radharani by performing devotional service to Krishna. And the third one, to understand his own sweetness. Krishna did not know how sweet he is. How much sweet Krishna is? What do you think? Krishna is unlimited, Ananta. So his sweetness is also Ananta, unlimited. So, can you understand that? Sweetness? What to talk about us? We are the minute part and parcel of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Even Krishna doesn't understand. So he was attracted by a form, beautiful form. He was running to embrace that form. And when he was running, he started realizing that is his own reflection. Then he started thinking, oh, oh my God, I am so beautiful. I did not know that. But I declared that I know everything. So has the used to be a God. So he wanted to become a devotee of God. So that is the beauty of Krishna consciousness. The original, real Lord in the spiritual world, He wants to become a devotee. But the conditioned souls in this world, they want to become God. That is the peculiar condition of this material existence. So who is greater? God or devotee? What do you think? It's Achinta Vedaved. God is the greatest. But He made his devotee greater than him. That is his glory. So that is the spiritual world. The Lord wants to make his devotee greater than him. 
and the devotees want to make their Lord the greatest. So there is a competition to make other great in the spiritual world. But in this material world, we want to become great. That's why you have to continue your journey in this world and suffer the consequences of birth, death, old age and disease. But if we want to be free from this, then you have to take shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through Nam Sankirtan. Then we can understand the beauty of Krishna consciousness and beauty of the spiritual world. So Mahaprabhu came to experience that sweetness of Krishna. Very beautiful. Krishna is extremely beautiful. So Mahaprabhu wanted to experience that. Krishna wanted to experience his own beauty. And he developed the greed, three greed, transcendental greed. First to understand the glory of Srimati Radharani's love, to experience the happiness of Srimati Radharani and to experience his own sweet beautiful form. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to experience that because Krishna developed that greed and he transformed in himself into Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And that's why you are very, very fortunate that uh, we are getting the opportunity to get connected with that Supreme Lord, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when we get connected with Him, we can also experience what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu experienced. So that is the purpose of Guru Purnima, that we can understand the greatness of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the rare gift He wanted to give to all of us and also to experience love of Godhead. That's why Mahaprabhu has two business. One is internal business and other one is external business. So his external business is to establish Krishna consciousness all over the world and internal business is to experience love of God. So as a follower of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we should have only these two business, to experience love of God within and to distribute that love of God to anyone and everyone all over the world. Then our life will become successful. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Shivan Mahaprabhu ki jai, Gaur Purnima Mahamasav ki jai, Gaur Pemanande, Hari Hari Bol. So, let us wait for uh, His Holiness Jai Padaka Swami Maharaj. Before he, till he comes, we can spend some time with question and answer, little bit, if you have any question. Otherwise, we can start the Kirtan. I already finished my lecture. Then we can have some reflection, or we can have some question and answer, till he arrives here. Any question from the... Senior Vaishnavas sitting, Prabhupada disciples, sannyasis, other senior Vaishnavas, and anyone can have question. And ask question which is discussed today, that will be better. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my most humble obeisances on your lotus feet. So in the beginning of this lecture you said that we are not advancing in Krishna consciousness because we don't have detachment for the material world. So my first question is that how to develop this detachment for this material world and another point you said that we are not chanting offenselessly. So when we chant offenselessly then we can only taste the holy name. So how to offenselessly chant and how long it will take to chant offenselessly? I already explained how long it will take. It depends on your speed. Okay. So first question is that how to become detached. So it's a uh, very interesting, it's go hand to hand, detachment and Krishna consciousness. So, Srimad Bhagavatam explains that when you perform devotional service, the knowledge and, determine, deta knowledge and detachment come as a byproduct of devotional service. So, our duty is to perform devotional service. Nastra prayasu avadrishu nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati uttama sloke bhaktir bhavati nashtike. So, when we do two kinds of seva, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam and serving the great devotees. When we do that, then our attachment in this material world will slowly, slowly disappear. That is the process. Okay? And how to develop the taste in the holy name? We have to chant the holy name offenselessly. And how to become free from offenses? What is the, what is the root of offenses? Pride. When someone is humble, then he can chant the holy name offenselessly. And Mahaprabhu has given a formula to chant the holy name offenselessly. What is the formula? The third verse of Sikhastakam. Tinadapi suni chena, taradapi saishnana, amanina manadena, kirtaniya sadahari. So when we are humble, when you are tolerant, and when you are offering respect, and not expecting respect, when you 
act on that platform, then definitely you can chant the holy name of the Lord without any offense. Okay? Hare Krishna. Any other question? Somebody should coordinate who is raising hand and accordingly provide the mic. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Danvat Pranam. You said uh, Mahaprabhu will uh, award Prema for uh, deserving and undeserving candidates. But still, uh, we have several rules and regulations in uh, performing bhakti, Vaidhi Bhakti. So, can you, can you explain uh, this uh, deserving and undeserving and rules and Yeah, regulations? only qualification is that we have to understand that we are not qualified. <laughs> then you are eligible candidate to receive love of God. Okay, that is only qualification. That we have to realize, we have to accept, we have to understand that we are not qualified. That is only qualification. But if, you, if we feel that we are qualified, then mercy will not flow. Okay? That is called humility. Humility attracts the mercy of the Lord. So, so Guru Maharaj has already come. So, thank you very much. So, His Holy Jayapadaka Swami Guru Maharaj has already come. So, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Srivan Mahaprabhu ki jai, Gaur Purnima Mahamad Sab ki jai, Gaur Pramanande Hari Hari Bhav.